Welcome, Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. There are always timestamps in the description box. If you want to skip straight to the reading itself, please keep in mind time is fluid. So whenever you view this, it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. I'm going to read your energy to the top, there's to the bottom, but this is general, so it can be flipped or reversed. Now, we have true love here. This is the romance of a lifetime. In your energy, we have free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. And in theirs, we have, there's a strong magnetic attraction here, okay, with chemistry. So, I'm going to, listen, I'm going to read this like it's you, but it can be reversed, okay? You're trying to break free from something, because it's holding you back from true love. There's this connection, this undeniable connection between you and this person. Okay, this even could be a twin flame connection for some of you. I mean, it's very powerful. You know that this is the person that you're supposed to be with, but for whatever reason, something or someone is holding you back. The lovers. You may have a choice to make in love here. Some of you could be choosing between a soulmate, okay, and a twin flame, okay? Uh, the lovers, Gemini energy. Okay, so you definitely feel this deep connection with this person. You feel this spiritual tie to them, this spiritual pull. It's, I mean, the lovers is like the heavens have parted. The angels have descended. You know, they're ushering you to this person, bringing the two of you together. The universe is like, here, this is your person. But for some reason, there is some kind of, you know, decision about this. Like, there's no, it's not easy just to be together. There's some kind of block. There's some kind of obstacle that you're trying to break free from to be free to move toward this person. And you guys always get on to me because you're always like, you know, why are you going back and forth? Is it, is it, is it me or is it them? I always get this really strong cross watcher feel for you guys. I don't know. People are just like stalk you guys or something. They're curious about you. But I always get like a, cr a heavy cross watcher vibe in these Aries readings. So hello, cross watchers. If I'm going back and forth, place yourself where it fits best. I'm going to read this like it's you, but flip it if it's reversed, okay? <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles, wanting to work together, wanting to build something, looking at this opportunity, trying to make a decision here. Some of you could be working on uh, building up your financial security, savings, that kind of thing, because whatever decision you're going to make, okay, it's like you can't make it until you feel more secure in this, okay? I even feel like some of you may even be like hiding money from someone. You may even work with this person or go to school with them. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, you've got deep emotions for this person. Male or female, doesn't matter. The King of Cups is somebody who's very loving, understanding, compassionate, nurturing. Very in control of their emotions. Um, this is someone who just makes you feel safe. They make you feel protected. I mean, you don't worry that the, that the King of Cups doesn't have your back. I mean, you you truly have deep feelings for this person and uh, the situation. You also may have some emotional ties to some kind of past situation. Could be family influence, could be uh, an ex, child's father's mo uh, father or mother of your child, that kind of thing. Um, some of you, this person has stirred some kind of emotion in you, okay, Aries, that you didn't feel like you could have, like, you, or not that you couldn't have, but you haven't felt that like for anybody before. Yeah, so you want to make an offer to this person. You want to move forward. You want to give them your pinnacle. That's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You want to give them a pinnacle. You want to make an, op an offer to them. You want to move forward. And their energy, we have chemistry and the Knight of Cups. So strong water coming through here. Um, and, and we have Earth as well. But it's like temptation. I, I want this. I mean, look at this. Look at this This pull. Look at this energy between us. Like, I just want to reach out. I want to type this. I want to take this offer. You know, I want to indulge in this. But I can't. I have to resist it. There's some kind of block that's keeping us from being able to fully indulge in this. To be able to fully give to this. This true love connection. It could be children or somebody very childish involved. Your love life is being affected by children. But this is the romance of a lifetime. And you know that. Intuitively, you feel that. You know that. You want to move forward. They feel it too. Okay. It's not just one side. They do feel this. This person's thinking a lot about their emotions for you. Okay. They're thinking about what they want to say and how they want to say it. How they want to come towards you victoriously in love.
What are some of the, what are some of the blocks? What, what messages do you have about this person? Please do it. There, there's some kind of like a deep understanding. Like they know that whatever the obstacle, this person knows, okay? They know that whatever this obstacle is, it's they have this greater understanding. It's burdensome. It's weighing you down. You, they know that you, they don't that you don't want to be restricted in this way, okay? They know that you want to be free to come towards them. They know that you know whatever this is, it's not it's not a snap your fingers and it's done kind of thing. They know that it's something that's going to take time. It's going to take dedication. It's going to take planning. It's going to take preparation. Okay, it's, it's going to move slowly, but they know that you want to move towards them. The world. This could be a, a distance. A distance. You guys could live in different cities, different states, different countries even. Okay, there could be a big obstacle. There could be a lot of communication via like email, text, that kind of thing. Um, there's like a need to like see each other. Travel is almost impossible. Could also be in regards to family, money restrictions, um, work responsibilities, obligations, kids. Could also be the fact that, you know, right now, if you're watching it right now, COVID has restricted some issues when it comes to like travel, okay? But there's communication. This person, they're, they're, so, they're communicating to you. They're reaching out to you. A lot of messages, a lot of heat, a lot of passion, okay? I do, I'm, I'm, we're grown-ups here, right? I mean, I do feel like there's a lot of, like, uh, intense physical energy messages, okay? You, you, you get me? All right, I feel like this person's very flirtatious towards you. Excited. To, there's, a lot, there's, a deep, there's a very deep attraction, okay, with this kind of energy here, okay? Page of Cups. But this person's... They could be younger than you, okay? They could just, uh, there could be a water sign child involved. But this is this person wanting to maybe apologize about the past or coming in here and expressing their heart to you. You make them happy. Leo energy here with the sun, Virgo energy with the hermit, and the Knight of wands here. This person, you make them happy, okay? And they've had a lot of time to reflect on this. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, okay? They want it all with you. They see that very clear. They've had a lot of time to kind of to themselves to be thinking about what they want. And they're passionately rushing in here. Fire energy. They want to move forward with you. They want to open their heart to you. They want to communicate this to you. They know this is not the kind of connection they want to slip away. But there have been obstacles, okay? There have been obstacles that prevent the two of you from being able to, to move forward the way that you want to. But you both are very aware that you want this reconciliation apology coming back together and forgiveness okay so maybe the pat there was a, pa a missed opportunity in the past and they they want to come back they want to reconcile with you others of you this could be like a past life relationship where like you feel like immediately at home with this person okay like you just this deep understanding of the situation like i said and some of you if someone here isn't a higher level of commitment children could have been part of this obstacle money okay um We have trapped, so being stuck in a situation, unable to break free, being watched or controlled, okay? Some of you may feel like you can't move forward this person, you're obligated to something, you're stuck in it, you can't be with them the way that you want to, okay? You you want to be free to like express your feelings for each other and move forward, but the, there's restrictions. We have surrender, unable to fight, can't resist or hold back, giving into the divine. It's like neither one of you can let this situation go. Neither one of you can fight this. There could be a choice between like a, a twin flame and a soulmate, okay? Or a karmic partner and this person that you feel is your past life soulmate, okay? That you feel this deep history with, that you have this deep history with, you know? And no matter how much they tr you try, like you can't resist this pull, this magnetic uh, energy between the two of you, between this connection. And we have interference. Friends, family, coworkers, and karmics getting involved. There are people or energies here that keep getting in the way of this connection. Under here, we have karmic lesson. I need to grow, obstacle, or challenge. Teaching, okay? Something that someone has learned something from. Um, there, there's, there's obstacles. There's interference here. There's a need to break free. It could be in regards to work, money, okay? Could be distance, okay? Could be family and friends. People who don't necessarily approve for some reason, okay? Uh, but you can't fight this. And I mean, honestly, this is a beautiful reading. Despite the obstacles, the challenges here, because you both do know internally, deep down at soul level, how much you want this connection with each other. And you can't seem to fight this pull. And there's a deep understanding on both sides of what these obstacles are. 
and the desire that each of you have to break free from them because this is a very powerful connection. Like I said, it could be childish energies here or kids involved, okay? Religious factors is kind of like my karmic lesson card anyway. You know, your love life is being influenced by religious upbringing and your spiritual path. You know, I need to grow from something. There could be, look at this, there could be a soulmate involved. A soulmate is involved. Friend, family, lover, or karmic. Deep connection and soul contract. You may have a soul contract with this person and they may have a soul contract with someone from the past, okay, that's held them back. Um, but they recognize this connection and they, both of you are fighting to be free to move towards each other. Okay. But it's like, no matter what, like this is coming back together because you can't stop fighting the connection that you have for each other. There's a lot of communication coming in. Okay. A lot of emotions being expressed here. All right, Aries. So this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you all so much for your support. Thank you to those of you who have donated to my channel. I am truly so very grateful. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.